Hey guys, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike's Garage. So before I start this week's uh, testing on the speed runs with different size tires on this Ice Bear Champion 125cc, I think before I do that, I'm going to swap some engine oil in this thing. Uh, these engines get shipped with oil in them and I actually believe it might be gear oil instead of motor oil. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that, but it sure smells like gear oil. I know gear oil has, um, you know, the whatever it's made of is uh, helps in the corrosion and keeps rust down on gears and transmissions and, and in differentials. That's why they use it. Uh, I think they put gear oil in these, you know, because they don't know how long they're going to sit and... To keep them from rusting on the inside it's not a horrible oil i've actually ran uh you know probably longer than i should have on on the oil that's shipped in these but uh, i've got about what i say last week's video 55 miles i think is what i have on this engine and it is time i think we'll go ahead and and throw some uh some new oil in i'm gonna use a 10w40 uh, it's a atv utv four stroke oil from Valvoline. I get it at AutoZone. If I'm anywhere close to my Honda store, I get the GN4 uh, Honda oil, but uh, that's, you know, hour away, and sometimes I don't make it there, and I run out if I do buy extra, but anyway, so I just go and get this. So uh, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and show you, because uh, there's a couple different uh, bolts you could take out under here. Make sure you take out the right one, so I'm going to zoom you in. Give me a second. Let's get uh, there. They are. All right. There are two bolts underneath here. Uh, the oil drain is the one that is straight up and down, and it takes a 17 millimeter wrench. The other one over here that could be confused for it is uh, has the cam tensioner spring and rod and stuff in it. Uh, you don't really want to take that one out. It's not a total disaster if you do, but to avoid taking that one out. So from what I've read, these uh, ice bears have a magnetic tip on the end of this, which is kind of nice see what kind of mess we can make here yeah there's a there's a little bit of sludge there I don't know you know who knows where oh I gotta get oh focus on the finger Come on. Anyway, good to get that stuff out of the engine. All right, so I've got all the old oil drained out. I've got the drain plug put back in it. You fill it through the fill right here in the kind of the top back of the engine. I've just got a little funnel that I'm going to. I don't, so I don't pour too much everywhere. Yeah, hang on a second. I gotta get the. And I believe it takes 800 milliliters or three-fourths of a quart or something like that. But this, uh, this funnel doesn't have a very big opening. I'm not going to bore you with that. So I'm going to fill that up. And what I do, I, I think the correct way to do it is when you set the dipstick back in it you don't screw it in you just set it on top of there and then try and get your oil in the uh x marks the little spot right there to show full so i'm gonna go ahead and get that the uh, rest of the way topped off all right so got my oil changed and topped off i got my official indiana license plate finally uh instead of the old temporary one so we are ready to now take this thing down off the table 
and let's start doing some speed runs. First of all, we're going to run with the uh, the stock size tires and take it out. I'm going to use a couple different GPSs, my phone, and uh, I bought a a little GPS that right there. It's not turned on. Hopefully, the name of it's showing. I bought that off of Amazon for 25 bucks or something like that. And I want to test and see if it and the phone are somewhat um, calibrated together to see if they're measuring the same thing. So, because everything I've said, told you before, has been based off of my off of my phone. And if that thing reads different than my phone, I sure I want to know that so that I can let you know. So, all right, let's get it down off the table. All right, everybody. It is a couple days later uh, since I changed the oil. I'm on location at a local elementary school that's kind of out in the country, and I've got a uh, straight, flat stretch of road um, that's probably three-fourths of a mile long that we can run some test runs on this bike. I've got all my tools. I've got the special, or the, not special, I've got the extra tires. So we've got a little mobile garage here. So we're going to start off with the stock tires uh, I did a run after I changed the oil just to uh, check my phone and the GPS that I added and they are pretty accurate they were within a tenth of a mile an hour uh, I hit 52.3 I believe it was and 52.4 so I believe the uh, the GPS on the handlebars would be accurate enough so anyway I'm gonna get this fired up and we're gonna take the uh, the Ice Bear Champion 125 on its first run with the stock tires. We're back from the first run and I've got the tires changed and now we're up to the four by tens, the standard stock size on a CT70. My GPS turned off, hang on just a second. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, this isn't really gonna be the right speed. It says 54.1. Uh, I forgot to slow down on a slight downhill. We only hit 53.5. 53.5 was the top speed on just flat ground running wide open. Uh, I went down a small grade and forgot the, I was having so much fun riding it, I didn't let off. And, so I uh, forgot I was that thing was going to measure my top speed. So that's uh, a little, little inaccurate. So anyway, so now I'm ready to fire it up, and we are going to take it on a second run with a little bit bigger tires and see if that makes any kind of difference. I'm back from the second run with the bigger tires, the four by tens, 4.0 by tens, and let's check and see. Now this is accurate. I stayed on flat ground. 56.2. We gained like three mile an hour just by changing from these little tires, the three and a half by tens, going to the four by tens. We went from about 53 and a half to 56.2. Wow, that's actually surprising to me. I did not expect that big of a jump, but I'll take it. So we've got one more set of tires, and that is the Kenda 120 90 10s. But I got a little bit of a disappointment. When I put these tires on this rim, on these rims, I only had one tube down there. And so I used a used tube that had a couple patches on it but I thought it was good I don't know if it's not good or if I pinched it or something putting it but I got a flat tire and I can't use this one dag on it so I'm going to put the good one on the back and the front one I'm just gonna leave that one and it should get us give us an accurate reading I mean the front one just rolls along right it's the the back one's gonna be the one that messes with all the gearing so anyway i'm gonna take a few minutes and i'm gonna put that onto the back of the ice bear and we'll take one more run well we're back from the last run with the large tire on the back 
um, we had an issue with the uh, tube on the front one and we actually lost speed let me find the max 55.1 and what were we 56.2 I think the large you know going to the larger tires we actually over geared it and the little 125 cc just didn't have enough oomph um, you know maybe you know the difference is the temperature of the engine or something because we've made a few runs and now it's warm or whatever I'm not really sure but uh, it seemed to hit its it liked it best with those medium sized tires the 4.0 by 10s that's you know the results I'm finding you, you guys might find something different but uh, bikes running great and I think I'll go with these tires on it uh, just like the look of those that makes them you know the stock CT70 look but uh, yeah there you go that's our three speed runs um, what did we hit we hit 53.5 with the stock tires 56.2 with the um, trail 70 4.0 by 10 tires and 55.1 when I moved up to the 120 90 by 10 Kenda on the back so that was fun hope you guys enjoyed it uh, you know, hope you're enjoying the content on the little Ice Bear Champion. Uh, we've still got the Amigo Rocky to do, and we'll do similar testing to it. But uh, the next time you see this bike, it'll probably be all tore down, and we'll start doing some aesthetic stuff to it, making it uh, actually look a little bit more like a, a Honda Trail 70. But uh, as far as testing goes, I'm happy with the carburetor I've got. I'm going to keep that. Uh, everything else, you know, we'll, like I said, we'll go with the front tire all the way around. So anyway, I'm babbling. Guys, have a great day. Thanks for following along. We'll see you on the next video.